Hey everyone, it's Oliver Lindley here from One Number. We're Tableau education and consulting experts. And today we're going to take a look at cross database joins. A join is basically the process of combining two tables together so that instead of two data sources, you have one uh, that contains all the information from both of those tables. But what happens if one of the tables that you want to use in your data source is not in the file that you connected to, it's in a second file? Well, that's when you might need a cross database join. So let's look at an example and I'll walk you through how, how to do that. So we're looking at some sales data here. Uh, we've got order IDs, we've got profit and sales. And what we want to do now is bring in a second sheet that has some information uh, about whether the order has been returned or not. Looking at our sheets that exist in our original Excel file, we can see that we don't have anything about return data. This is kind of customers and products. So what I'm gonna do is connect to another Excel file. Now I do wanna flag something here. The natural way of connecting to more data sources in Tableau is probably to go into your worksheet and click new data source over here. It seems like a pretty logical way of doing it. However, if we go through this process, Tableau is not gonna facilitate connection between those data sources. It's just gonna add the new data source in and allow me to use it as I would this current one. But what I actually wanna do is try and combine these data sources together. So Tableau's facilitated a different way uh, of, of connecting to data. So what I'm gonna do is go up to connections in my data source pane. And over here, I'm gonna click add. And I'm looking for an Excel file. So I'm gonna click Excel. And here it is on my desktop. I'm gonna open that up. Now, Tableau has automatically given me a join, but let me show you, let's just walk through this nice and slowly. So first thing that I wanna point out is that we now have two options in this connections panel over here. We have our original sheet with, I mean, our original file with all the sheets that came with it. And we have our new sheet, our new Excel file with uh, the one sheet that's come with it. So you can kind of think of this as like a library and all the information that's in that library, all the books are just contained by you going into each of those files. So what I want to do now is create a join. A join is made in the physical layer. So right now we're in the logical layer, which just means that if I were to drag my sheet in over here, I'd create a relationship and not a join. If you want to know a little bit more about joins versus relationships, I'll attach a webinar that we did down below. But in order to get to the physical layer and create a join, I need to double click on my first sheet. And here, I'm just gonna drag in the sheet from my second data source, the return status, and drop that in. And now Tableau's already given us an inner join. And I just wanna point one thing out. Let me hide this unnecessary column right now. What I want to point out is that this is all really nicely color coordinated for us. So the reason why that is so helpful is it helps us uh, keep in mind at all times what was the original sheet that this information came from. So here's the return status. Sheet one came from return status. And these fields came from sheet one. And we know that because it's all orange and this blue. So uh, the general store gave us customer orders and all of these are our blue fields. So that's just a really helpful way, especially if you have multiple sheets that you're connecting to, you know, you're creating multiple cross database joins. So essentially creating a cross database join is relatively simple. As long as you know where to start, you need your second file. You need to add a connection rather than adding a whole new data source and then you're just dragging your sheets across and creating a, a simple join. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, feel free to drop any questions down below and I'll do my best to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much.